Hello, my name is Ahmad Kafa. And my name is Roman Mish. We are first year students from the University of Birmingham. And we are team Illuminat. So we take the output of the solar panel and the location of the GPS, and we put this in different locations to determine where the best place to put solar panel. Let me talk about a few technical details of our project. Uh, first, uh, our Pi is powered from solar panel, which goes to batteries and then to the Pi itself. Uh, we are measuring uh, current and voltage coming from solar panel uh, using ADC chip and uh, Hall effect current sensor. Uh, the ADC chip is connected to the Raspberry Pi board using SPI interface. Uh, then we send all this data to XAMD feed uh, through the Wi-Fi connection. This is the GPS chip which connects to the Pi via RS-232 USB to serial cable. The coordinates of the uh, GPS get uploaded to Google Spreadsheets, which then get sent to Google Fusion, which maps all the coordinates of the Pi. Turn on the Pi to test it out. It's now booting. When it finishes booting, it's going to upload the power data from the solar panel to Xfile automatically after booting. Since there is not much sunlight outside at the moment, we're going to use this artificial light pointing at our uh, solar panel, and we're going to measure its power output. Um, and send this data to Excel feed. Here's the power output of the Pi. Currently this is a graph over time of the power output with the Pi with the artificial lights. This is the current power data and here's the coordinates taken from Google Spreadsheets. Here's the time frame for the data from the Pi. Currently it's 5 minutes. We can change this for 30 minutes an hour, even 3 months to compare the output of the Pi for different locations. Here's a spreadsheet showing all the current GPS locations of the Pi. This is the current position of the Pi and these are other sample data. The Pi will continuously try and check its location between and the ones in the spreadsheet. If it realizes that the distance between its current location and the ones in the spreadsheet is greater than 60 meters, that means it's in another position, not in the spreadsheet. So it will try and update the spreadsheet with its new location. To test this out, let's put this as 20, let's put this coordinate as 22, comma 22. Now the Pi real, will realize that its position is not in the spreadsheet. Now we'll try and update the spreadsheet. So if we try that, and here it is. This is its current position. If I undo this, that's what the previous position, position and this is the new position, which are pretty much exactly the same. So I believe have just detected that this is a new location. So we'll start drawing a new graph. So we have a look at Dively. Now it's detected this is a new location compared to the previous one. And it's now outputting data to this new coordinates. So if we go to the five minute view. Here we go. If we delete this, it'll go back to the original feed. It'll go back and update the original feed. There we go. These coordinates and their graphs can all be updated and sent to Google Fusion. And this will allow them to be mapped. So if we refresh Google Fusion, here are the coordinates. And if you click on the map of coordinates, here's its current location, and here are other sample locations from the Pi. When you click on the pointer, it will show you the current location and the graph, which will allow you to go to that link. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed our project.